Jesus. Jesus. Oh my god, it didn't go into first. That's one of the problems I'm gonna talk about right now, dude. It didn't go into first. It didn't go into freaking first. Well, maybe you should learn how to drive. Uh, Yo, your window's falling out. Nah, dude. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> These are the problems I have with my C5 Corvette. These are specific to mine. Some of these are common problems that you have with C5s, but mine has some other ones that will go over. The first problem that I noticed right when I bought the car was the headlight motors. So the headlight motors are known to go out in this car because they come from the factory with a hard plastic gear, and obviously that wears out over time. Who would have thought? General Motors. So they go up fine, right? And then when they go down, It farts. It farts. <laughs> so, so when the plastic gear wears out, it's at a point right now where it still has enough grip, so it brings the headlight down, but it doesn't have enough grip to know when to like catch and stop, right? So it's on like a timer. It's on about like a seven or eight second timer so that when it goes down and starts grinding, it'll go, it'll go for like seven seconds and it'll stop. So that's good. But if you look right here, that's the motor, and I'll do it again so you guys can see. So what I bought is two repair kits. My passenger side headlight is not doing that yet, but I thought I would just replace them both at the same time. I'm gonna make a separate video on repairing the headlights. But I have two brass gears, um, and obviously brass is a much tougher material and it'll last a lot longer than the plastic that comes from the factory. So, common problem with the C5s, and other General Motors cars from the 90s and early 2000s that had the pop-up headlights, but it's an easy fix. We're gonna do that soon. Number two. Number two, <laughs> which you guys saw on the way over here. We'll play that clip right now. Christ, Jesus! Oh my God, it didn't go into first! So these Corvettes come with a Tremec T56 transmission and they're known to have problems going into first and reverse, which you guys just saw. Um, it's only happened a few times, and the few times that it has happened, it's happened like in traffic, so kind of inconvenient, but <clears throat> it's nothing that. Shit, dude. Oh, this whole thing's falling apart, man. Almost had a total of the car, dude. Yeah, you almost overreacted. But other than that, the transmission's, uh, it's really good. It's really strong. Um, it shifts pretty smooth, considering it's a 19 year old car at this point, and uh, the transmission was designed in like 1996, because this car came out in 1997, this body style, so uh, it's held up pretty nicely. The third major problem with this car is the air conditioning. So I bought the car knowing that the air conditioning does not work, which is fine with me because the guy that I bought it from told me that he got it quoted for $1,200 to get it fixed. But the C5 Corvettes, because of where the AC compressor is located in the engine bay, it gets really hot. So if you look down here, we can show where it is. That's the AC compressor. Because of where that AC compressor is located, it has overheating problems. Um, which causes the compressor to seize and the AC system to fail. So, so mine has a unique problem. And what happened was one of the previous owners, uh, the AC unit failed with them and they knew that. So in the 1997 to 2000 Corvettes, the AC unit itself was controlled by the main ECU of the car. The AC unit did not have its own ECU. So when the AC system failed, for some reason, in some cases, you had to replace the entire ECU of the car. That's what happened in this case. And one of the previous owners, I, I don't know if it was the owner before me and he was lying, I don't know. Somebody before me, because they tried to ground the AC line by screwing it into one of the body panels like down here, okay? But it's fiberglass, so it's not grounded. I spent a ton of money getting the new parts for the AC system and it doesn't work because it needs a new computer instead. So that's the problem with mine. So don't be like me. Get your car checked out at a mechanic before you buy it. You should probably just buy a C5 Corvette that has a working AC to begin with. So the last major problem that just happened a couple days ago with this car, I obviously have the convertible. Now I'm not too crazy about it. I didn't really want a convertible, but I was driving to work and when I got to work, it was getting out of my car. I noticed that the window had fallen out. It had um, the glue failed. Actually, I went online and I Googled how to 
repair this. And it's really simple, so I went to the store and got some Gorilla Glue. We're gonna do that soon, I'll have a video for that. But anyway, it's really cool that Chevrolet put this in, but they put in some little, um, like elastic straps to catch it because they knew one day that these had the potential to fail. So we're gonna do that, <clears throat> but that's not a big deal. It's not like I have to replace the whole top or anything, which would be super expensive. So those are the major problems that you could experience most likely if you own a C5 Corvette. Uh, at some point, especially if you have a convertible, the rear window could fall out of yours too. But I'm gonna move on to some smaller, like honorable mentions, you could say. Corvettes are not known for their interior and the older ones at least. And I knew that buying it, I'm not crazy. Like I didn't buy a Corvette because of the interior. But this is a design flaw right here. When the e-brake is up and you go to lift the center arm console, it catches right here because of the friction of it hitting the e-brake handle. So it can only go up that much and it's just kind of stupid. Like, why would you do that? It doesn't really go that much more without the e-brake handle. But anyway, that's kind of cheap. The rest of the problems that I have with this car are really, those are my personal distaste for it. And they're kind of petty things, so other, if, you, like, if you're a C5 owner and you're super passionate about it, don't take these to heart. I'm just, these are my gripes with it. So the cup holder. We all know that the cup holder is trash. Take a look at it. It's a really shallow cup holder. It's like maybe an inch and a half deep. It wobbles around and not a very good cup holder. Not very well designed. Mm. Well, this aftermarket stuff we can get for these. Uh, I just haven't gotten anything. There are dash kits available online for like $150, which I think is absolutely absurd. The last problem with this car that I'm gonna mention is if you're interested in buying a C5, just beware that it has a lot of electrical issues, especially the earlier models, the 1997 to 2000s. There's this thing called the EBCM, which is the electronic brake control module, which fails on these cars, and you cannot find OEM replacements for those years. You have to get them sent off to somebody who is able to rebuild them, and that's, it's, it's expensive either way. So my advice to you is do a better job than I did when you're buying your C5 and get it checked over by a trusted mechanic so that you know of all the problems beforehand and you don't get yourself to, into some shit that is gonna cost you a lot of money to fix. But overall, it is a good car. I like it a lot and she goes fast. I hope you found this video helpful and uh, if you did, leave a like, comment, and learn from my mistakes. So thank you for watching. You're welcome. Things I don't like about my Corvette. Things he doesn't like. Fuzzy what little strings. What the fuck strings. is this? It's a fuzzy string. That's not very Corvette-like. This just came with the car, dude. Chevy, what is this? For 19 years, this has been hanging from the roof of this car. It's a goddamn souvenir. It's a... Don't rhyme. It's almost an antique string, dude. That could be worth some money. It's a Corvette string. I don't think it's a Corvette string. Yeah, it's a Corvette thing. Uh, All right. I gotta put some chopstick on and then we're fucking going, dude. Can I borrow the cement? <laughs> <laughs> Camera, let me borrow some of the chopstick. Nice I ass. Know. I asked myself and I can't figure it out. Dude, those legs are fucking popping, dude. Take your glasses and clean them. Oh shit. How do I, how should I start this? Should I, should I do one of those things? Do you think I'm, do you think at 69 subscribers I'm big enough to be like, well, okay, do you think, <laughs> Do you think I'm at that point? No, you're not at the point do, yet. Do you think I'm at that point where I can be like? No, don't do it. Don't don't say it. Do not say. Don't say what? Don't say. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Don't do that. Welcome shit. back to the channel. <laughs> don't do that. What should I say? I'm gonna get the Corvette in the background. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay.